Hi, this is Cheryl from the Madison Children's Museum. Today we're going to do a STEM project and look at star constellations. During this time of year when it's dark out early, it's a great time to do star watching when you're outside because it's dark out at dinner time. What I like to do before I look at stars is figure out what different kinds of star shapes there are that I can be looking for. Sometimes I'll go on the internet and look. Sometimes I have some books. So right here I have a star wheel that I can look up stars by month. I have a star constellation finder book and I have a bunch of photographs that I just printed from the internet. Went on, found some different constellations that I really like. These we're going to use to make a STEM project. We're going to do two different ways that you can make star constellations at home. So first you'll want to look for star constellations and see their shapes and how many stars it takes to make them up. This you'll get some good math skills in and also you'll get some engineering skills in as you make it. So the first way we're going to make star constellations is by getting a piece of paper. So you can use a jar, a lid, a glass, a cup to trace a circle on a piece of paper and cut it out. Once you trace the circle, what you're going to want to do is look at a constellation you might want to make. So let's look at this one. This is the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper. When I look at it, each dot on there is going to be a star. So I count how many dots I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mark those seven dots on my piece of paper and then I take a hole punch and I hole punch each of those dots out. Now I have a constellation on this piece of paper. You can make as many constellations as you want with this. And when you're done, just take the flashlight and use it to project it with it. You'll just hold it against and shine it through and all those stars will show, show up on your wall. Another way that we can make star constellations is by using toothpicks and anything you have at home to stick the toothpicks into. You can use Play-Doh or clay. You can use marshmallows. You can use peas or gumdrops, anything at all. And again, what you would do is this time we'll look at a couple of these. You'll look at your constellation and you'll count how many dots are in it. The dots are the stars. So let's see, we have, this one has, this is Cassiopeia, has one, two, three, four, five. So if I'm going to make this, I think for this one, I'll use marshmallows. I'm going to take five marshmallows and I also need to see how many, the toothpicks are gonna to be what connects them. Toothpicks it takes, so it takes one, two, three, four. So I'll have five marshmallows and four toothpicks. And let's see if we can make Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia. So I put this in there. And now I add another one and another one. Oh, we're getting there. And another one and another one and I only have one left to go. There we go. I can even lay this down on there and you can see that we just made Cassiopeia out of marshmallows and toothpicks. So if you do this at home, you can learn more about star constellations that you can find up in the night sky. And if you have a telescope or you just wanna go out in your yard and star watch when it gets dark at night, it's wonderful to see what's out there. Enjoy your day and thank you.